Welcome back. Maybe you don't like math, but delegate math is everything if there's an open Republican convention. And there's a ton of interesting new wrinkles to discuss. Let's start with the 42 delegates at stake Tuesday in Wisconsin. Just one state, relatively small hall of delegates, yet the impact on the Republican race could be huge. Let's take a look. Donald Trump is your front runner, 739 delegates. Ted Cruz picked some up in Colorado yesterday. He's in second place, closing in, but still a distant second place. So what about Wisconsin? Polls there show Cruz with a 10-point lead. If he wins by 10 points, winning statewide and then sweeps the congressional districts, he could walk away with all of the delegates. Maybe he gets 20-something or 30-something, but imagine a scenario where Ted Cruz gets all 42 or 36 of the 42, somewhere in that ballpark in Wisconsin, shutting out Donald Trump. Starts to close in a little bit. The conversation in the Republican Party changes. Next contest, Trump thinks he's fine. It's his New York firewall. There is a poll showing Trump above 50% in New York. If he can hold that above 50%, he gets it all, 95. If Donald Trump can get all of those, he starts to stretch that lead again, and then he can say, okay, I didn't like Wisconsin, but the pain is over a little bit. But imagine this scenario, that Ted Cruz wins Wisconsin, Donald Trump falls under 50% in New York. Even if he wins, let's say he wins with 45%, only gets about half the delegates. Let's say Kasich comes in second, Cruz comes in third. That's not all that significant. But Donald Trump, if he shares the delegates, well then, Cruz is a little bit closer, but here's the key point. If Trump can win them all in New York, he'll probably need about 53% of the remaining delegates. If he has to split the New York delegates after a Wisconsin loss, at this point, Donald Trump would need 60% of the remaining delegates, which all but guarantees, yes, it's possible, but that, that makes it pretty clear we're heading toward an open Republican convention, which that would be a problem for the Republican Party. Trump says he doesn't like all this delegate, what he calls chicanery going on, Listen, here's what he told Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday. Are you ruling out running as an independent third-party candidate? Are you ruling that well, out? Look, I'm, I'm by far question. the... No, it's not that simple. Uh, I'm by far the front-runner as a Republican. Uh, I want to run as a Republican. I will beat Hillary Clinton. But if you don't get the nomination? Uh, we're going to have to see how I was treated. I'm going to have to see how I was treated. Very simple. Uh, again, the question is why. He's a smart man. Why bring that up at this moment when you're trying to unify the party, when you're trying to convince, and we'll get into some of the nuts and bolts of this, you're trying to convince all these state party chairmen, people out in these state conventions, some of the states that Trump won, some states still to be decided where they're picking the delegates. Why do you put on the table the idea, again, that you might run as a third party candidate? Why don't you just say, Chris, I think I'm going to be the nominee. Stop. Don't ask me that question. Ask me when I get to Cleveland, but don't ask me until then. You know, I think we've established pretty well that Donald Trump is not exactly a details guy. And right now, I think he just didn't, there, there, there was no one in his campaign until very recently that understood what was happening with Ted Cruz right. and Louisiana delegates and with some of the other states. And because of that, he looked at it as I'm not being treated fairly instead of, I'm a Republican, and these are the right. rules that I entered right. into. Right. That, that's why this is so interesting. They just brought in this guy, Paul Manafort. Many of you at home don't know who he is. He worked for Gerald Ford back at the last contested convention on the Republican side. He's an old Reagan Bush hand. He's trying to help Donald Trump with delegates now. Uh, but they are late to the game. And I'm told that Trump, in his meeting this past week with the RNC, was a little surprised. He thought his team was a little behind the curve in how this works, and it matters. Uh, Trump signed a pledge in South Carolina to support the Republican nominee, won all of the state's 50 delegates. Now people in South Carolina are saying because he keeps floating the possibility of a third party, maybe they don't have to be for Donald Trump. Maybe he's in violation of the pledge. This is why it matters. You have in state after state even states that Trump won, and I'll give you a bit from the Tennessee party chairman in just a second, even in states where he won, they're saying, yes, we will fill the seats with people who will vote for Donald Trump on the first ballot, but they're not loyal to Trump. Mm -hmm. So the convention is going to have to approve the rules. An open convention might have to bring to the floor a motion to suspend the rules, to allow them to introduce a new candidate to, for nomination. If those delegates are voting for Trump on the first ballot, but not loyal to Trump, that changes everything, right? The keywords are are a first ballot there because right. if they're not loyal to Trump and they you know sort of hate this whole idea and think that he'll be losing to uh, Hillary Clinton you know as these uh, head to heads ha ha uh, have shown that's a huge problem for them but I think it is stunning to me that that his or not stunning probably it, it's you know we should under expect this for now his first reaction in Louisiana was I'm gonna file a lawsuit mm -hmm. as opposed to I'm going to find someone to figure right. out how to play these rules but he finally is on board with that so it's not too late I don't think at all but it, uh, I mean, the fascinating thing to watch coming up are these county and state conventions. Right. Iowa is next week, I believe. That is where all the action is going to be so, so important. Right.